Hello friends, I hope you people are doing good. In this channel, I make videos in which I cover individual stocks and it is I, where I give like I do long term analysis, fundamental analysis of individual stocks. But today I am going to make a different kind of videos because right now I know lots of people are concerned in the market whether to buy or to wait in. Uh, they are not able to take their buy or sell decision right now because the Nifty is falling and it has fallen around thousand points in just uh, one month of time, and people are very confused right now what to do. And in my previous videos, I gave, I did long term analysis of lots of stocks, and and from that price, all stocks have uh, like they are down. Where when I gave, when I recommend that that stocks, and right now it is trading at a lower price than what I where than what it was trading at a month before. The reason why this is happening because the market is falling constantly, con continuously from last one month. That is the reason all stocks are down now, and the down in the stock market is just because of the PNB scam. Scam what happened, and the second reason was the introduc introduction of that long term capital gain tax on equity market and mutual fund market. So whenever this kind of scam happens in the market, lots of foreign institutional investors start. We're drawing money from the Indian economy uh, because they are not very sure about what how Indian economy is going to do in the future. That is a, that is their major concern, and that is the reason why this type of falls happen in the market. My second thing, what you need to notice is Indian economy and the global market in general is doing good. And if you see uh, GDP, and so it was already India reclaimed the GDP like uh, fastest growing economy in the world. It reclaimed its position once again after because of the GST and demonetization, GDP of India fell, and now again it is it has recovered. And if you see uh, quarter result of December uh, Q3, it was really good. Uh, all the companies have done well. And if you see again uh, the lots of companies got affected in the Q2 because of the Again, that same thing, GST, but that thing is gone now. And in the Q4, the company are expected to do even do better compared to the uh, compared to Q3. So I'm expecting uh, this fall is going to over soon. By the end of the March, the market will already start recovering from the uh, start to recover. And if you see it, like today, market recovered 200 points in just in a day. But it is not going to be that fast. What I'm what I'm thinking, it is going to be this gradual uh, improvement in the market, not uh, not a sudden improvement, but definitely improvement is going to come in the market very soon. What that is my personal analysis. So in this video, I'm going to uh, give recommendation on few videos in or in the same on that stock I've already given long term analysis. A few few of the stocks I've given long term analysis. Few of them I've not given long term analysis. But according to the current trend in the market, I'm going to give a short term calls like uh, three to four months to the May month of June, July. You can hold that position and make a. I think anyone can take that position and can make a gain of around fifteen to twenty percent. Ten to 15, ten, fifteen, twenty percent. It can be anything. Uh, that is not a bad thing. But again, I would like to say one thing. This is my personal opinion. I'm not telling you to buy. You must do your own analysis before taking any bad decision, right? And if you not able to do your own, own analysis, then please consult a financial advisor or uh, meet talk to a stock bro broker or someone. Uh, and don't just go by my words. I can be wrong in the market. Okay, so I'm going to give few recommendation of on few stocks, and this is my expectation based on based on the uh, company performance. What is going to happen in the Q4? And it is based on that, and on few calculation what I have done of, of P/E ratio. On it is based on that ratio, uh, P/E ratio, and based on the my expectation of a company's profit in the Q4. On that basis, I'm going to recommend few stocks, and there are other stocks which can also uh, go up. But I'm not covering all. I can't cover all the stocks. I'm going to cover just uh, six, seven stocks here, and which I think can be a very good time to buy at the current market price. Okay. So let's start. So 
see here the first stock India Bull Housing Finance. You can see here India Bull Housing Finance. And I'm using a graph here, but this is not technical analysis. This is a fundamental analysis based on my expectation of uh, company's performance in Q4 and uh, overall year in the year 2017-18. What is going to happen? It is based on that and calculation of PE ratios. It is not based on technical analysis. Just I'm using this graph just for your reference. Uh, okay. If you see here uh, in the graph, it is trading at uh, like around 1209 rupees now. Uh, today closing on 1209 rupees and it is was a very near very strong support area. But basically, what happened? Market has uh, the stock was trading at around 1400 plus before the fall started, and now it is around 1200 now. And uh, the P, the EPS of the company in the previous year was like around 767 and now i'm expecting it to become 80 it should be somewhere around, somewhere around 81 in the q after q1 result in the and in the year 2017-18 the eps of the company is 81 and so based on the my eps calculation of 81 the stock should trade above 1300 and it can be it can should be around like uh, 1600 it should be the range between 1300 and 1600 should be the range it should not be 1200 so I think it is going to decline. The stocks would climb uh, before the result because the movement happens always before the actual results come out. It is not after the result com comes out. So I am expecting a positive result in this company, and uh, obviously the market should, uh, in that particular stock should go up and it should above thirteen above thirty. It should trade above thirteen hundred. Trade hundred rupees down from uh, from thirteen hundred now. Uh, so that can be a, your premium profit and after 1300 uh, with a normal profit what you can make based on the results what comes out in the uh, in the Q4 result but I'm expecting a big uh, climb here in the India Bulls Housing Finance and after in the long run in the long run in the sense within a year it should be if Indian considering the uh, considering that Indian market uh, performed uh, good in the, and the global economy also does well in them then this stock should trade somewhere around like uh, 1500 to 1600 range it should trade uh, that is my expectation and uh, i'm not telling you to buy or something but please remember that you need to do your own analysis this is my personal opinion which i'm sharing second stock is dhfl in Juan housing finance again it is you can see here when this particular stock is touched a very strong support area it actually that support area was 470 which market touched actually few days back and again it reached almost around 480 at least and today it closed at around 515 and based on my calculation the new p the new eps should be around 36 previous year it was eps was around 29 now it should be 36 in the next after q4 uh, q4 result and in the year fy 18 result it should be 36 and based on the previous p calculations and based on that the new eps uh, my expectation of this particular stock is around 400 the downside is around 450 upside it should be 608 so 450 only if market continues to fall then 450 it can come only if market falls if market is not falling then i think 608 is on the card and on the higher side i am expecting 570 which is not going to happen very soon it, it will take a bit time but uh, on the short run i am expecting around six, uh, 600 610 i am expecting short run in the sense by end of the like uh, end of the may or june somewhere around that time i'm expecting for that i'm expecting around 600 rupees here in this uh, particular stock again considering the considering that indian economy continues to fall nifty continues to rise and the global economy is doing good then only otherwise things may change first stock which i'm going to cover is the bepl bansali engineering polymer limited Again, if you see this particular stock is trading at uh, again a strong support area of 162, and um, based on my calculation, the previous EP 
previous eps was 2.1 and i'm expecting around 5.8 now big jump in the eps 5.8 to 6.8 can be somewhere there and based on the eps and based on the pp ratio and eps calculation my expectation of this price is around 186 rupees in the short run it should trade about 186 what i meant to say if market is good i should trade about 186 what what i feel in the short run and uh, next stock i'm going to cover is delta corp delta corporation is into you know in game, gaming industry hospitality industry casino they have again trading at very strong very strong area around like 300 uh, around 300 level uh, right now it today it closed at 321 rupees and the previous eps of the company was 2.28 and i'm expecting now the new eps uh, to be 4.5 after q4 result and based on that my expectation is around it should the stock should trade above 351 to 360 it should about trade like it should about trade above uh, 350 definitely based on the pe and the uh, uh, new eps rate which is going to come okay next i'm going to cover is kei in industry this is this company is into wire manufacturing the, in, i've covered all these uh, stocks in the uh, long term analysis i've done of this particular company also so again this company is in very strong support area of 300 around 360 and if you see the previous eps of the company was around 12.72 and the new eps is i'm expecting 16 not here 16.32 and based on the new eps of the company the stock price should trade about 420 and right now it is on only 364 it should trade above 300 420 and it can range go up to like 466 or something but it should definitely trade above 420 what i'm trying to say is suppose the market condition becomes same what it was before budget and before pnb scam if the market condition becomes became, becomes the same then definitely this stock is going to trade above the uh, above 420 after the q4 results comes out now this is kc international kc international if you see but despite this scam and all it was going up up uh, 440 almost it touched and now it correction is happening so again if you see get a price somewhere here around 377 10 rupees down from the current price that can be a very good buy and uh, here if you see the previous eps was around 10.96 and the uh, new eps what i'm expecting after q4 result is 13.62 and based on eps and uh, previous p calculations my expectation this trade this stock should trade above 425 and it can go up to 476 uh, based on the performance of the company again same thing i would like to say it is going to based on the performance of the nifty last stock i'm going to cover is venkis india private uh, sorry not private limited venkis india limited which is into a poultry farm business and this company is was a went all the way to like 4500 correction is happening right now and uh, my expectation is even if few little bit more fall comes around like 400 3500 something it can be very good buy and the previous eps of the company was 88.55 and new eps i'm expecting a very big jump in the eps of in this particular company 141 should be there should be the new eps and based on eps and uh, this taking the previous PE of the company my expectation of the stock price is around 4200 uh, in the short run I am telling and in the long run it is it should have trade above 500 definitely uh, above 5000 or 500 but in the short run I am expecting around 4200 once the Q4 result comes out so I am expecting good results Q4 results all this particular company and I am going to I am expecting it should definitely cross the previous high after the q4 results comes out so this is what my recommendation is but again i'm going to tell one more thing 
this is when when i say recommendation means it is not i'm telling you to buy or something actually i'm basically sharing my opinion it is not a recommend direct recommendation you to buy it is basically my opinion which i'm tra- trying to say this is what i feel this is what i am going to do for my clients on on, on my account, personal ac- account and i think you should, can also do the same but you need to do your research or you need to consult or if you have other stocks idea then and you are doing good in the market or like you are you are exper- ex- experienced in this then you must look into this particular stock and make your own, el- own calculation then you will understand what why i am recommending this stock it is based on pure link calculation it is not based on uh, hearing from some other people or hearing from some other company i am just uh, telling you it is based on my personal calculation what i feel what i have seen it is based on that again all my calls can go definitely it can go wrong if nifty continues to fall again all will then my calls are definitely not going, not going to come it is only it is only going to happen yeah, only if nifty starts to recover secondly uh, there is risk in the market right now it is not in, just because today market went up 200 points not like market has started to recover and there can be a fall again can happen it may happen like the market just creating a new high lower high and then again fall will come in the market anything can happen you did not stock might not that easy to judge in a single day moment you need to watch market for like three to four days at least to uh, see whether yeah market is started to recover or market is on it you can't take this in just in the one day moment okay so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and soon i'm going to upload the long term analysis of a new company i'm working right now on that particular company so i'm going to upload soon i in the past uh, like in, in this month i could not upload much of videos because i was very busy and i didn't get time to make a video but i'm working on a particular video like on, on a particular company i'm studying that company now so it, it will take it will take a bit time but definitely i'm going to um, upload soon uh, soon in the sense it will take 4 to 5 days time what i am expecting so whenever i make a video it's not like that uh, just i pick a company and within few hours decide to buy and i upload a make a video no it doesn't work i don't do that i spend more than like a week in studying a comp- company and then you know, taking out useful information from the company and then putting on my slides and then i'm recommending it is not it is purely based on depth it is a very depth study actually it is not just uh, half an hour or one hour work it is i put lots of effort lots of time i put to make for my long term videos so and this is the first video i made uh, like for a short term calls this, this was the first video so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and please like my videos and we can comment if you have any query you can uh, or definitely write in the comment box and you can share with your friends if you like my video when they can take their better decisions in the financial market and please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss important videos bye